What up guys and girls, another brand new video coming at you today. We are back as you can see on F1 2019. We're going to continue on with our career mode in the Alfa Romeo Racing for round number two at the Bahrain Grand Prix. I think this is episode number four actually of the career mode. So um, I've definitely brought out a few more episodes than I have done on the F1 that I did all on the previous game especially. But um, going to this, this one, the big news is because I haven't touched the game for quite a while since that first episode, is what you can see on your screen now as we into the uh, the messages part of the F1 of F1 2019, which is obviously new. But um, you basically see on your screen like the big updates in the new patch, which was going to be the big update. Anyway, 1.05, which is going to change the cars dramatically. Um, especially, I, well, I, I did not know how this is going to work. I've been told that uh, it's going to be showing quite a bit more grip. But um, I think there also there's some other things. There's some AI improvements as well. Plus, I think the career mode stuff has sort of... Uh, what's the wording? They've gone hopefully similar to what it is in real life. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see. But uh, there's the current championship positions, if you haven't uh, seen already. But obviously, I've probably just given a spoiler away. But <laughs> go watch the first episode back in Australia because... Man, oh man, that, that was just a complete and utter shock, to be honest, with that first episode. Was not expecting to get P5 on our debut. That was utterly... Yeah, the, I would never have predicted getting P5. Sure, I've probably been running a lower AI driver level, which we are actually going to bump up to 100. I'm, I'm tempted. Let, let's start with 100, and then maybe if it gets better, I may go into the ultimate range. But um, we'll wait and see. So we just get ourselves into the loading screen here for the, the workstation. Congratulations on your success in the invitational event. It might not help you in the championship standings, but it definitely helps to build your reputation. Yes, thank you, Emma. Now, obviously, I did that invitational event um, after the, the, the Australian Grand Prix. I, did, I think I did the checkpoint challenge, which is the same one that apparently Kimi was at at that one and we beat uh, Kimi at that one so that's going to bode us for, in good step for that one but um, looking good conditions wise for Bahrain I mean it never rains in Bahrain you must be kidding yourself if it actually does rain but um, okay so R&D tree now Mercedes I think have now at the top of the, the, uh, the tree now ahead of Ferrari we've got Red Bull we've got Haas there as well McLaren uh, Racing Point Renault down I dropped a bit Tyro Rosso, obviously we're second from bottom, but we're a bit further away from the Williams guys. That's, uh, where, where am I going here? Okay, so the R&D, we did obviously get a an a, um, upgrade, which is currently in development. Hopefully we'll get that on the car at Azerbaijan, but I uh, don't think there's much else to uh, check on that one. So let's double, double, double check. No, I think, I think there is. Let's just straight into practice one here at Bahrain. Practice is just about to get underway here at the Bahrain International Circuit. This track boasts plenty of opportunities for overtakes, so it's up to the drivers to make use of the time to get comfortable with the track conditions. That's if they want to capitalise on those opportunities later. Beside me to take you through free practice today is a man with three decades of racing experience under his belt. It is, of course, Anthony Davidson. Thanks for joining us today, Anton. Tell me, where should we be focusing our attention today? I think we need to be looking across the entire field to see how far these cars are able to push a single set of tyres. While everyone will be trying different setups and running with different fuel loads, if you're attentive enough, you can definitely pick out trends for each type of tyre compound, which will give us a rough idea of how long the drivers are able to stay out there during a stint in the race. Alrighty, we're into the garage. Now, obviously, I'm going to do these, pre hopefully these, well, the first four I'll hopefully do in our practice one. I may keep the other two for later on, considering they're going to do qualifying in the race in the in the night time. So, um, I'll probably do this uh, behind the screen at, uh, for the moment. If there's any, like, little highlights or something, I'll obviously show them, but, um, and I'll probably show my classes up overall. To run during these practice sessions, you can check the details in the car monitor. We'll get good data for both the race and factory teams, so they're well worth running. Thank you, Jeff. So, uh, yeah, I'll do this right now, and I'll come back to you after I've completed all f the four I want to complete right about now. Oh, 
great start. Find that front wing. It'll need replacing if it takes too much damage. That's just what you need. Um, okay, we'll uh, skip over that one for a second. All right. So, we've done the first four. Little one I'm worried about here. I think, well, pretty much four, three of them I've fully passed quite easily. Our best lap so far is a one minute thirty-two point four. Yeah, thank you, Jeff. Three of them obviously are passed quite easily with the purples, but time management, eh, it's uh, it's a little bit worrying. If I'm, I'm completely honest. Um, could only get in the green level of that one. So uh, I even tried a couple of runs on the time management, but um, yeah, I mean, first like, lap I was. Well, actually, in the green sector, but um, second lap of the second run I did on the time management was in the red. So twentieth uh, in the speed trap, three hundred and twenty-one point zero kilometers per hour. And with all the cars now over the line, let's see our top three again: Bottas, Leclerc, and Lewis Hamilton. And that's it. Practice is officially over. Until next time, goodbye. So finished up P11, just, just literally, you could see how close it is between myself and Kimi. Obviously, I did up the difficulty to 100. I attempted to up it just a tiny bit more to see what the pace, what it's like anyway. But um, the, the other two F2 rivals, Devin Butler, 16th, uh, Lucas Faber, I've actually got his pronunciation correct, in 19th. Of course, he's in a Williams, so for him. Danny Ricciardo running out the... 20 car field in on the hard tyres but uh, obviously Valtteri uh, led the session from that one but uh, let's just skip straight ahead to practice two nice bit of uh, resource points definitely up to our um, reputations with everybody that's a positive there alrighty we're in the dark now here at Bahrain but uh, I want to more focus a bit now on the qualifying and the race strategy what are we objective is 15th here so, I mean, if we definitely um, exceed that, I'll definitely up the uh, the AI level up to... I'm not sure exactly where I'll up it to yet, but I uh, want to get it really close to where this car is at. But let's just see what we've got. This is the first time, actually, I've experienced the uh, the new lighting here at uh, Bahrain. I must say, it's a lot more brighter than what the previous version was. But, um, yeah, let's just see what pace is like on this set. Okay. Are you okay? That was a big one. Confirm you're okay, please. Yeah, that uh, definitely wasn't ideal. So I'm um, gonna have to do the stuff in uh, practice three, I think. It's time to remind ourselves of our top three, who are Hamilton, Bottas, and Charles Leclerc. And if today's practice is anything to go by, we're in for an exceptional weekend of Formula One. Kimi putting in the stocking lap there in the position four on the soft tyre. Of course, Lewis Hamilton leads the way by nearly six and a half tenths over his teammate, so that's a big change. Uh, notable notables where we Devon Butler in P8, uh, Lucas Weber P14, compared to his teammate who's 20th. So uh, this is quite a contrast with the Williams gang at the moment. Right, so obviously with that one, we've got to redo this one. Uh, the car just feels very, very twitchy uh, when it comes to when it lose the rear end quite a little bit. So I'm tempted to put this back up to the the um, default setup, but not sure where exactly to go with this. I might actually drop this back to four four just to be on the safe side. But uh, what else we got other okay, than that? Let's talk about this track. Break nice and early for 14. It's a long run from there down the pit straight, so you need a good exit. But you can also carry a fair amount of entry speed, so get off the brakes early and turn in a bit sooner than seems natural. The car should understeer past the apex. The exit is wide enough so that you can run out to the curbs and get away with it. Let's try this again. Alrighty, so now we've done the qualifying pace, which was, yeah, no, relatively okay. A bit over, expect, uh, over exceeded probably what we wanted, considering what was it we the best time? Uh, one minute. Oh, we did a 30.9. But estimated pole of the 29.8, so about a second off the pace. Race uh, runs, uh, they were pretty simple, really. So in between, obviously, P3 and P4. So far is a 
what did I just say? P4-4. Four, four. P3 and qualifying. I'm definitely going to... I think I've definitely upped the, uh, uh, the difficulty here at the moment. Let's just skip over the rest of this qualifying session here. The session has drawn to a close, so let's review our top three. Leclerc, Gasly, and the rookie. And that's it. Practice is officially over. Until next time, goodbye. So I don't think P3 is where we're uh, supposed to be at the moment, but... Um, did pretty well, actually, to get on that, that quicker time, actually. Uh, Charles Leclerc did a 30.1 to be fastest in uh, P3, so looking good for the Ferraris around here. Uh, the other guys, Devin Butler, 12th. My teammate, obviously, Kimi, in 7th. There's uh, Lucas Weber down in 16th at the moment. So I'll probably explain to you guys and girls what I'm feeling like at the moment. But uh, one thing we're going to do now is actually go into the ultimate range i'll stick with 102 for qualifying but again if it gets any any more easier then i'll probably either move it up a bit more but if it's about right i'll leave it where it is barring qualifying is nearly upon us and the drivers look as if they're all geared up to go i expect we'll be getting underway very shortly when it comes to getting lap time out of this circuit it's traditionally been about maximizing top speed do you simply remove as much downforce as possible hang on into the corners and max out down the straights? The teams will have arrived with all manner of parts designed to capitalize on the long straights. The cars will be that much harder to drive in the corners, but everyone will be in the same boat. It won't be easy getting out of this qualifying session, but see what you can do. Thank you, Jeff. Now, overall feel of the car is, um, obviously the tire wear, like I mentioned earlier, is gonna be probably an issue for us. So I think that means probably maybe a two stop, depending on where we actually qualify because obviously I stuffed up big time back in Australia with um, not getting the times right in the end. I didn't have enough time for a second run, which probably would have got us into the 10 anyway. But um, other than that, yeah, um, uh, tyre wear is going to be one issue for us. Another one is probably uh, braking because I, I just haven't felt comfortable at all with the braking. The car settings screen on your multifunction display will allow you to change various settings as you drive. Open the display with the MFD button. You can then navigate up and down to the setting you want to change. Thank you, Jeff, again. But um, other than that, uh, the car, I mean, doesn't really want to point at some corners, but um, who knows, we'll wait and see. Obviously, the, the AI level's now at 102. So let's see what it is like around here. All clear the garage, please. Car ready to leave. Then obviously I'll stay quiet throughout this, maybe this whole qualifying session. You may hear bits and pieces of me, maybe, you maybe not. But um, I'll leave in my fastest laps anyway from any of the, qu Q the qualifying sessions anyway. Top 10 now, keep it up.
Obviously, I expected a better session, but these things happen from time to time. Try to make up for it in the race. Winning rivalries is a great way to earn respect from your team and around the paddock, which will help make it easier to negotiate favorable contracts. Your first rival is always your teammate, but you can choose who to declare as your second. The harder the rival from the eligible selection, the more respect you stand to gain or lose depending on the result. There's something in the Bahrain air tonight, and I'm not just talking about the sand. Our brightest minds have thrust their brightest ideas into the spotlight of the Sakia circuit this evening as we look ahead once more to a Grand Prix that has thrilled us so consistently in the past. There's no shortage of passing opportunities around the 3.36 miles of the Bahrain International Circuit, with the best at Turn 1, of course, and then another soon into Turn 4. 15 corners here, six to the left and nine to the right. And we could see one or two flat spots into the tight left-hander of turn 10. Bahrain has showed us many times in the past though, Anthony Davidson, that a good strategy will only take you so far. Beyond that, you need good racecraft and you need good consistency. And a little bit of luck too, I'd say. This is one of those circuits where the safety car always seems to come out just at the right time to condense the field together and mix up the cars on different strategies. It's hard on brakes, it's tough on fuel, and the main overtaking opportunity is down into turn one, where it's easy to outbreak your opponent and potentially have a bit of argy-bargy as well. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Vettel, Verstappen, Charles Leclerc and Gasly, Ricardo, Magnussen, Sainz and Lance Stroll, Perez, Hülkenberg, Roman Grosjean and Butler, Raikkonen, Weber, Alexander Albon and George Russell, the rookie and Lando Norris starts from the back of the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. After the points finish last race, let's aim to keep the momentum going. Well, you never know. It may change in one little bit. Welcome to the grid, guys and girls, for the Bahrain Grand Prix. As you saw during that qualifying session, it didn't go to plan at all. Um, made a few errors along the way. Um, obviously trying to do two runs on that last, uh, the more the end of uh, qualifying one, I think it was. Um, it probably affected me a little bit. Obviously cutting the corner at, uh, what is it, turns th uh, turn three. The exit of turn two, turn three, that bit there. And then obviously just, um, yeah, the breaking performance was just absolutely cr um, shocking, really. But um, so we're now obviously in position 19 because Lando Norris has got a p uh, penalty. So he has dropped him back to P20. But um, probably should have gone with actually going with a new power unit for this race. But anyway, uh, race strategy-wise, as you can see here, it's actually projecting us to start on the hards, go on to the mediums. Uh, I mean, I'm tempted to try it. Oh, up the fuel a little bit. We'll go 1.3. Let's start with 1.3. I'm, I'm tempted to do this one, but I'm also tempted to try the other way around, like mediums to hards, but it's a tricky one, uh, this one. So, uh, I mean, I'm up for it. Let's, uh, let, let's try it. Me the hards to the mediums. Okay, let's, let's try it. So, I'm um, by rain, obviously... It's not one of my uh, favourite circuits around this track, but um, if we can get somewhere near the points, that'll be a bonus here. But uh, let's see what we can do. It's time to go racing. We're not seeing any technical issues coming off the practice start. Watch the RPM on a full start. We don't want to book down. Thank you, Jeff. I think, by the looks of things, we might be the only person on the hard tyres, but. Um, Bonus here for us as well is that Kimmy's not too far up the road as well. He's in 15th, but the pace he was showing, he could have easily maybe gone for the 10. But um, well, there's like still an issue in this game that just randomizes the grid. I'm not entirely sure, but um, you know it's going to be a long race. Obviously, I'm not expecting a whole heap of things, but um, no threat of rain for the time being. Conditions looking good. We'll definitely be going long on this strategy here. Right, just had a quick check of the race director before we begin, and not the only one on the hard tyres, but teammate is on the hard tyres, and both are Hasses. I'm not exactly sure how that works for uh, considering Kevin Magnussen's air qualified in P8, so um, I don't know whether that's a glitch or not, but we'll wait and see. Here we go. 
All set for round two. Five red lights. Away we go. Not a great start. Pretty much went nowhere off the line there. Kimmy falling out straight away. Let's see if we can like go for a few moves up the inside. Oh, that's just what you needed, isn't it? Old mate Devin Butler. Going to definitely respawn. God almighty, I can't get this right. Oh, for goodness sake, what is it with me and getting front wing damage? Oh, for God's sake. Absolute what? This time we're just going to play it patiently here. Get around a long way. Get pa past Lando Norris. Don't know what the straight light speed is in this Alfa Romeo. That was a bit close there with Alex Albon. With George Russell just gets back straight past. A stone dead cold. Trying to hold off Lando Norris as well. If we've just managed to do so. Wait, wait what? We've got front wing damage as well. Far out. Get off case of breaking this. Let's see what straight line speed is here. We're going to continue on here for now. Not too bad, considering the Lando Norris and the McLaren. Lando's got a good run here. Cover for, for the moment. Must have got that front wing damage from George Russell. Because I can't think of anywhere else we may have got the front wing damage. Increase ERS deployment. It's time to use some of this charge. Don't do that, Jeff. As soon as I say, don't make a mistake, so not ideal. Do two things at once. And the second track extension. Not ideal at the moment. Okay, entering lap three now. DRS has been enabled. Doing the cutback from Lando Norris. Just can't quite keep up with the pace of George Russell at the moment. I mean, the medium tyres will definitely have the pace advantage here at the moment. And we're saying that all the other medium tyre runners, will, no, the hard tyre runners will be saying the same thing. It's the big group has already started to pull away. But there's quite a bit of a battle pack that's lining up and it's uh, one of the racing points, I think, that's leading it. You bloody brave Lando. Uh. Respective racing room. We've done it already in one episode of career mode. Back at the first one since we made our F1 the booze, I should say. Not saying what happened back at um, the F2 finale. Gap to car in front is 2.2 seconds. When the straight line speed's not too bad in this Alfa Romeo, but it looks at things. We're keeping Lando Norris behind him with DRS by the looks of it. Gap to teammate ahead is 3.1 seconds. Lando putting pressure on the back now. It's a 
that's slowing the car down. It's not helping me with me trying to chase down George Russell. But uh, Lando's all over me here. Managed to hang him off, hold him off again. And that's lost us all the margin we gave back to George Russell. Of course, he is in a, a Williams Mercedes powered car. No way he can get past through there. There's the penalty. You've been awarded a time penalty for that last incident. Ooh, rear end. Okay, gap ahead is 1.9 seconds. side by side through here we just managed to get ahead and we get DRS that's a bonus oh yellow flag someone smoking ahead Be careful. We think you're going to oh no Kimmy 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 no 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 that's not what I want to see Let's have a look at this on the replay. So, hang on, let's uh, re 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 ah, rewind here. Here we go. So just coming through into the slow corner here. I think it's turn 10. And then it just, something blows up. So, um, oh dear, not a great day for the teammate, unfortunately. So he's gonna re he's retiring from that race. He's still obviously trying to hold off Lana Norris. Oh, yeah, 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 we are in. Fingers crossed that doesn't mean anything bad for me. That's only one position we've gained throughout this race. Okay, finally got into the DRS here of George Russell. For a new strategy option. Confirmed. The current one. Oh geez, look at the straight line speed we got here. Oh George Russell. Got Lando behind us. See what the straight line speed's like. Can't quite get close enough to George. Well, this Williams would probably not be ideal for these corners through here. Ah, the curb got me there. We've still got Lando on my tail here, but of course these medium tires. I'm not sure exactly when they. When they start dying out here. Thank you, Jeff. That was a bit late for that one. I already saw that happening in front of me. So this Alfa Romeo still got some fairly decent engine speed by the looks of it. I thought the uh, Mercedes-powered engine would have some decent speed on the front straights, but uh, that's not an idea to run. Again, Lando. <laughs> I swear the thumbnail is going to be nearly myself and Lando battling out of it again. I think it's going to be like that for the first episode. Right. This is the chance we've got here. As George Russell has nothing. Here we go. Around the outside. Lando's probably going to follow soon. Crowd goes nuts. Come on, fight. Fight, fight, fight. No, Lando got past. Now we've got zero DRS. Get past George Russell. Now we can quick catch up to the rest of this group up here. Our gap to the car in front is 3.1 seconds. like pit stops are happening. One of the Mercedes is in and one of the Red Bulls and there's a Sergio Perez. Jesus, he's done well. 
on a set of soft tyres. Just make it into turn one there. We're going a couple of spots up in the 15th. Still trying to hold off Lando, who of course is still on the medium tyres. The gap to the car ahead is 3.1 seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tyres are 10 laps old. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a 1 minute 34.4. You're dropping back by around 2 tenths each lap. Not a track extension warning there. That's always a tight one, that one. Lando's trying everything he can to get past, but just just got enough at the moment. More cars in the pits. Lance strolls in, and the other Mercedes is in. We'll try to break the toe from Lando Norris. Sending one up the inside. We've made a little mistake. Should have the inside line here. I kept on thinking the car ahead was uh, Robert Kibitz, but it's actually Lucas Weber. My bad, Lucas. There's still a big battle group ahead, so... Uh, Gap to car in front is 2.4 seconds. Uh, I think this may have to do with something to do with the front wing damage to this average car. No, at least, I mean, that's Verstappen behind. Oh, really? Well, I'm on the brink of another penalty. Again, trying to hold off Lando. This is great battling, I've got to say. I'm hoping Verstappen's got some good straight line speed so we can get past him straight away. Holding our own here. Cross there, Lando. I think I'm using a little bit more fuel as well in this race. I could be wrong. But going by what I did in Australia, although I probably overfilled the car there. I thought I'd lessen the fuel load for this round race, but. Uh, Let's turn up the ERS deployment and burn some of this energy. Jeez, I didn't realise I had that much energy. Here comes Verstappen now. I think we've just cut him off there, so it uh, wasn't ideal, but uh, there's cars in the pits. Uh, Weber, Butler, Sainz, Ricardo. So we're moving on spot. There's Gasly. Someone's lost a bit of front wing. That's a little bit close to comfort there with myself and uh, Pierre Gasly, but we've managed to just get ahead of Pierre. I'm tempted. I don't, I don't really want to let these guys pass. I know they're quicker than me on the, the track, but I just want to have a good gap behind okay, Delano Norris. Is 2.1 seconds. It's left 14. I don't think it's too far away from the pit stop. Probably another couple of laps. Interesting to see how long these guys in front stay out for. It's also interesting to see whether the front wing actually gets changed or not, because I'm tempted to just leave it as is for the rest of this race. Yeah, Gasly putting pressure already on the back of the wing. Doesn't seem too bad. So I'm tempted to just leave it. Alex Albon in. And Hulkenberg. Actually, I might just leave it, I think. Here comes Gasly. Just going to hold on for now. And then we're getting to the other hard runners here. Which would be both the Haas boys 
and me. That's pretty much it. That's my teammates now out of the uh, the race. We can hold these guys up as I think Lando's actually coming to the pit lane. So that's an added bonus. One of which of these Haas cars is going to be the first to come in here. So I'm holding up the Red Bull boys. They're not going to like me after this race. Seconds. Christ, they haven't got past me yet because I've still got some decent speed in this car. Nope, both the horses are continuing on here. So looks like. Uh, is it we want to pit this lap, so push now. Mercedes and Ferrari are battling away. So the Red Bull boys are going to battle here. Stappen's now cleared the, uh, Gasly, so he's, I think he's been cleared to have a go at me. He's going to make it very hard for Max anyway to get past. He can just get better drive actually from the, the Red Bulls because they're not making any ground here on this straight. Ah, there's the mistake. <laughs> Somehow. This lap. Coffee, so we're coming in at the end of this lap. We're coming into the pit lane. Make sure we got speed. Perfect. The Red Bull boys will be glad that I go now in the pit lane, but the other car in is Roman Grosjean. Gonna hold him up just a tiny bit, but not too much, I don't think. Here we go. Release. Nice stop again from Alfa Romeo. I kept saying Alfa Romeo Sauber last time but because they were Sauber last year, but uh, going to drop, obviously, back to the field. OK, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. Now on the fresh and medium tyres, so we've got speed to burn here. We do come out ahead again of Lando Norris, which is a bonus. But now the getting past these guys as quick as we can. I think the same can be said for Romain Grosjean and for Kevin Magnussen when he does pit. I didn't bother to change the front wing, so because I felt the car was fairly, felt fairly decent on its uh, run, even though with the damage, but uh, all right, Kevin Magnussen's, I think, pitted. So he was the last one, I think, out of the lead runners to pit. Little mistake in the turn one there. Okay, the gap behind is 3.1 seconds. What's Lucas's speed? Faber's just ahead. Push for the position. The gap to the car ahead is 1.2 seconds. They're on old hearts. Their tyres are four laps old. The time last lap was a 134.3. Yeah, so the pace wise doesn't seem too bad from Lucas. Of course, he's on hards compared to me on mediums. We should have a big pace advantage here. In case whether we can close this Williams down, because it was a bit tough getting past George Russell earlier on. Of course, that um, Williams through the corner is not ideal. now so we should get this pass quite easily is it our personal best on that lap and yeah quite easily past Lucas Weber and just making it a turn one yellow flags someone is very slow there not sure exactly what's going on there we'll come back to the battle in a second that was perfect timing wasn't it Something happened here. Oh, it's three wide. Oh, dear. This is not going to end well. This is not going to end well. Okay. So who is this? So we got uh, Hulkenberg, Ricardo, and Magnussen's in the, the cork in the bottle here. So three wide in the turn one. It's never going to work. Oh, I think Daniel just gets caught in the left rear of uh, K-Mag. K Let's see if we can uh, get the right camera. Here we go. I think this is the one we want to see. Watch the back end here. 
he just sort of gets stuck there on the left rear of Kevin Magnuson. So, uh, yeah, a bit unfortunate there for Daniel, but uh, obviously we're trying to get past Lucas Vape. Well, Lucas Vape has just made that so bloody easy. Oh, that squabbling sort of helped out a little bit in front. about it. Oh, little lock up there from Lucas Weber and this again myself. Again, speed. Not quite close enough. He, he, he knows we're there. We've got plenty of drive in this thing. Okay, battery's looking good. You can use overtake to get past. Covering. Put a bit of pressure on him here. We should easily get this done even before the front straight ends here. Quite a heap of speed in this Alfa Romeo. There's more battling going on ahead. And just managing to get the car stopped then. We can see it, Lucas. Sure, we get out of the slipstream. I think we've now got him. So now at the 15. Need to make up another five spots just to get into the 10. To car in front is 2.0 seconds. Next up is a fellow Aussie, Daniel Ricardo. Oh shit, that's not ideal. And there's the other three-second type penalty. We've been awarded a time penalty. So now I've got six seconds worth now penalty, so doing very well in this career mode. Always turn 10, there's always a bloody down corner, I think it is. Just covering there, as you saw. We should hopefully get this pass done. Again. The third time. Brilliant. Nice move. Make it into the corner. Oh, there's a little side by side action here. Oh, my Devin Butler's been squeezed a little bit, I think, by Kevin. Oh, Roman Grosjean, one of the two. Devin Butler trying to get past back on the Daniel Ricciardo. I think he's done it. This battling's really helped me out here, even though I've still got the six seconds hanging over my head. Still got to fight for positions on track. Fuel-wise, not looking ideal. Neither was that. I'm just getting the DRS of Daniel Ricciardo, and it'll help massively. seconds. They're on old hearts. Their tyres are eight laps old. The time last lap was a one minute 33.8. You're closing by four tenths per lap. Another personal best in 32.9. You're pulling out a second a lap on the car behind. Like in the DRS zone of Daniel Ricciardo, but we're getting close. Devin Butler and Ricardo are battling away hard here. Again, we're not in the DRS. I don't know what's going on. Ricardo pulls out. We should have easily had DRS that lap, but I don't know what's going on here. He's got past uh, Devin Butler again. We have a, Devin having a much better race this time around compared to round one, where he had a big engine failure. Or well, some sort of engine failure along those lines anyway, so... Gotten the DRS that time with Devon, but uh, not quite five close enough. Of fuel remaining. Tight on, a little bit of tight on fuel. Trying to save it as much as I can in this slower part here. That was almost a mistake, but these two are still battling away here. Oh, that's 
not easy to cast through there. Oh, it's allowing the me to do, oh, it's allowing me to join this battle very quickly. Let's see if we can put our hat in the ring here. Nice run. We'll get the DRS. Let's see what straight line speed we've got here. Going battle here. We've got to go make it three wide. Hopefully this has caught the highlights. Somehow we've made it work. Getting a little bit squeezed. But we've done it. What a move. Now I've got to clear these two quickly. Hopefully that is in the highlights reel. That might be the thumbnail there. You never know. I wonder how Devin will feel about that one. Uh, three Bottas says fast enough in the race. The gap to the car ahead is 2.1 seconds. I think at this rate we may finish behind Lucas Weber with the six seconds worth of penalties. Ah, oh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Shouldn't have said that. I have to block Kevin quickly. He won't have liked that one, but he gave me the squeeze back in Austrius, back in F2, so. Payback. Got the DRS as well, that's a bonus. Might get away from Daniel. Scratch out what I said earlier, we will definitely probably fall behind Lucas Weber of any of these guys got penalties behind. The tyres, I think, are really dying off here. That'll probably be white. Oh, big mistake. It's caught, Lucas is now caught up to the back of this train here, so... These guys fight it out in their next three odd laps, and hopefully, we can get away with things. That'll help. Devin and Ricardo are battling away. We're not going to be able to run in this engine mode much longer. We're about a lap from the target. Drop down to mix too soon. Devin got past Ricardo. You saw that in the background. Okay, looks like you're running on some slightly warm rubber at this point. Should still have a fair amount of grip left, but be mindful. It's going to start falling away. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Going to be really tight on fuel here as we begin the last lap here at the Bahrain Grand Prix. Base-wise, uh, it's been okay. But, uh, Some information on Hulkenberg. They have an issue with their car. They're going to be slow. Oh, that'll help. But what doesn't help me is the fuel is very low. And Hulkenberg's just hanging off a dear life here. As these two are called up to me. Again. But like I said earlier, as Lewis Hamilton sends the fast lift of the race, and I think he's won the Grand Prix. Yep, congrats to him. At this rate, we're going to fall behind Lucas Weber and finish P16, I think, on track, which is probably where I expect it to be. But it's been great fun battling all this way through here. Here comes Devin Butler again. Boy, can't quite catch up to Nico Hulkenberg with his issue. Absolutely everything we can to catch up to Hulkenberg. Uh, might be drag race to the line here at this rate. See what happens. I think Hulkenberg's got it. Well done. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. mate. Uh, what could have been had we not got the penalties, but hey-ho, it is what it is. 
Mercedes have pulled off a great victory here today. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? Well, tyre management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today, everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. Let's see what effect this result has had on the driver's standings. More points for Valtteri Bottas, further solidifying his lead at the top of the table. Some amazing talent out on the track today, but Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? It has to be said, Roman Grosjean certainly had my eye today. He made impressive gains during the race. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes moved to the top of the table. It was also a strong Grand Prix from Haas F1 this weekend. Fantastic work from the American team to move themselves further up the table. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action. I can't wait to see what's next. I don't think neither can we, Crofty. So Lewis Hamilton gets the race victory and the pass slap, so an extra bonus point. Sebastian Vettel, Valtteri Bottas, and you got Charles Leclerc, Pierre Gasly, Max Verstappen. Those boys will be pissed off at me, I reckon, after that race. And Sergio Perez, Lance Stroll, Roman Grosjean, and Kevin Magnussen at the top 10. We've got Sainz, Hulkenberg, Devin Butler, 13th, Ricardo, 14th, Weber, 15th. Of course, the sells P16 with that six seconds time penalty. Alex Albon, Lana Norris, we had a good battle with that whole race. And George Russell running out the 19 classified finishes. And of course, teammate Kimi Raikkonen DNF'd. So, um, I mean, the pace didn't feel like too bad, but um, again, bugging it up big time there. But let's have a look at the standings wise. So we dropped down to position eight, obviously. Bottas. Has a nine-point advantage over Charles Leclerc. Been a few movers up and down this this pack by the looks of things. Uh, Constructors-wise, uh, we're still sitting in P6, uh, just behind uh, McLaren. So obviously McLaren didn't score many points. I don't think. Oh, actually, I'll take that back. No, no, actually, they didn't score any points by the looks of things. So uh, that's a bonus. But Mercedes now take the constructors' lead over Ferrari, but uh, five uh, by five points. But um, other than that. That was the Bahrain Grand Prix. We'll go back to the the the, uh, the driver hub, and I'll probably play the, the highlights package after the race. But uh, we'll go straight back after that.
great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. There wasn't much between you and Lucas by the finish today. Nah, not really. I mean, the time penalties probably didn't help me out, but uh, which one should we go? I'll go this one. You were cutting your way through the field during the race. Yeah, the car felt pretty good. Uh, oh, we got raw horsepower. Uh, it might be the power unit, I think, for that one. Appreciate your time. Thank you, Claire. And a little bit on the rivalry with Kimmy. Well, because he DNF. No, no surprise there, but uh, we should get a bit of resource points. So it might go towards the upgrade of the car again. We have a nice 100, 1,740 points. We actually get the team goal because we did qualify 13th or better. I think we did that back in Australia. So that's an added bonus. Although Toro Rosso don't really like us for that one. Other than that, yeah, it was a pretty decent weekend. Uh, let's have a look here. The R&D tree. Now, I think the powertrain uh, was, was where I felt pretty... Pre yeah, I'll get my words right in a minute. Fared pretty well, actually, considering, well, here's a Ferrari-powered engine. So we got some good speed over the Red Bulls and the and the other teams as well. So it might leave that for now. So obviously we got the... Well, we can't make any upgrades here with the Aero because... We've got one in progress at the moment, and we if we need to do that, we'll have to upgrade our contract, which is not the case. So we'll get that one in Azerbaijan, but let's have a look here. So chassis-wise, uh, it's yeah, rubbish. I can't put it that way. So I think, yeah, we might update the chassis part here. Essential under tray here. So as a result, in the weight advantage, and no compromise. So we get that one as well at Azerbaijan as well. Okay, so uh, we'll get that on, and plus we'll get a... What do we do? Yeah, oh crap, have I gone the wrong way with that one? Feel the resource, but I think I may have ha actually have. So uh, I think it's this one we should have gone for, the last one. But uh, we'll get that one, one two, so we don't get any failures. And uh, same thing, we'll, uh, we'll try and actually get this right one on this time. So we'll in stop the failing. It, uh, although we get to get cheaper parts, um, it, it's going to be um, a whole, hopefully, no issues along the way. So we'll get both of those for Azerbaijan. As, uh, let's have a look at the quick look at the engine. Uh, okay, so 24%, not too bad overall. So uh, looking pretty decent at the moment. Gearboxes, yeah, same way it was. It's a bit high, so uh, that, that's the normal way. But uh, where else we got it? There you go. So that's the, the parts we should get. So that may take us above Red, uh, the Toro Rosso team uh, come Azerbaijan fingers crossed but uh, I think this is where I'll leave episode number four so hopefully you enjoy all those battles here around Bahrain as I certainly did if you did enjoy it be sure to give it a big smash on that like button as always leave your comments down below subscribe to my channel for plenty more uh, F1 2019 career mode plus plenty more video gaming content as well as always all my social media links will be down in the description until the next time which will be the Chinese Grand Prix I think it is which I do fairly well at, I think. It is goodbye, and I'll see you all next time.